All right, CBT lesson for Jason. Uh, this is the new Striper with Yahweh. This song is heavy, like Mike and Oz said it would be, and it delivers, man. It's got that, you know, when I think back in the 80s when I started playing my favorite era of like Iron Maiden, like the Power Slave era, bam, but it's Striper. Striper's always tapped into the innovative thing. Anyways, you guys know how I feel about Striper. So, Jason, and I know how you feel about Striper. And for you younger people, there's some good musicianship. Just go check out Striper. Do it. Do it. All right. You want to tune flat. Tuna. Remember, type of fish, Jason. Tuna. Half step down. Um, a lot of parts, dude. Nine pages of tabs, and it's, it's got repeats in it. So, <clears throat> I don't know how many videos this will be, but it'll be many. Okay, so... The first thing that comes in is at 19 seconds to 31 seconds, all right? It's got that choir sounding thing on the intro. So we got uh, section one, and there's a lot of variations, or several variations of it. Um, that's going to be the hook through here. That's going to go three times. Alright, so let's jump in. Let's jump in. There's so much to learn here. 10, 9 on the D string. Now these notes, there's nothing else that I've seen with this song because this single was just released. Um, so uh, at the end of the day, man, I had to use my ear and try to get the tonality right on, you know, picking this string or this string. So, there was no guide except my ear and this amazing song from Striper to use on this. Um, I think you'll be pleased though. 10 and 9 on the D. We're going to use middle and index. You're going to pull off. Uh, so pick, pull, and then back to the 10. Open A, palm muted three times. It sounds to me like downstrokes. There's a choppy element to this. If it was much faster, because at first I was thinking it was alternate picking, you know. But it's just got that punchiness, and I'm leaning towards the downstrokes on this. Help me out, Oz, would you? Or Mike? And then, that's kind of the hook is based around the 10 and the 9. You're going to repeat the pull off and then go palm mute 10, 9, D, 12, open A. So if you played all that, slow it down. And then we got a bunch of 10, 9s again on the D string. Pick, pull, and then palm mute all this 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 12. And then we got 9th fret G, pinch harmonic vibrato. That is three times. Then we got this. Octaves, 3A, 5G, remember when you're playing with octaves, we want that angle coming across the index to mute over the D string, and it's not a bad idea to mute any string above and below. So with the tip of the index, I'm muting string six, and with this finger, I'm muting, believe it or not, the B and the E. That's things that a lot of guitar players don't think about when you're a teacher, but you're kind of forced to, or you should be, you know what I mean? That way you can strum everything, you know. I can hit all six strings and only hear the two notes. All right, so we have down, and then down, up, down, up. From there, we're going to move it a whole step up to five, seven. Remember, a whole step is two frets. You're traveling two frets sharp up the neck. Same thing, though, so just, it, just two frets higher. The thing is, you don't put a rest until after you get there. So, once you get there, down, up, down, up, down, slide to 810. But don't hang out on that slide. Don't go, or don't go, let me see, let me play from the three. That's just to get that slide going. And then um, once you get there, down, up, down, up. 
Go up to 11, 13, same strings, down, up, down, up, rest. So. My middle finger is actually muting the low E as well. So, I can't get over how amazing the song is, man. Good job, man. Kudos to Striper. Yahweh. You know what Yahweh means? Look it up. Okay, so that covers 19 seconds to 31 seconds. Um, and then a variation of that. Section 2, 32 to 46 seconds. You're going to go like this. Some altered parts in this. The last note is basically different. Instead of going... We're going to end up going... So substitute the 9G with the 9D. Try that again. Okay, then um, start it over. Then this time you're going to go... The ending's going to change, so on the bottom of page one on your tabs, you're going to have the pull-off again, 10 to 9, and then palm mute, 10, 9, 10, 12, 9, 10 on the G palm muted, and then 12 G pinch harmonic vibrato. So, slow down a little more. Page two. Um, back to the 10 9 pull off. So you see the consistency, Jason, right? With the. You want to kind of listen in on where. What the main solid parts that are consistent in there and then where the opens are coming in. Chun, chun, chun. You're going to see that time and time again. You want to get used to that. One, two, three. It's not. It's a odd number. So we get used to da uh, doing like fours or eights but we got three here so if you're gonna subgroup that's actually a good one right get used to it in small chunks and then um, do the pull off again then we got the 10 9 12 open on the D and A palm muted so that top line on page two do that again. Okay, then the pull off again. And then palm mute. 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 12. And then 9D, pinch harmonic vibrato. No palm mute, obviously, if we're uh, palm muting it. Or if we're pinch harmonicing it. So, yeah. I'm losing it. Hold on. Yeah, that one was used earlier. Okay, um, then we got the octaves. Um, they're pretty much the same on this, but there is there was no slide on the the third octave this time, or was, or the second to the third octave. So you would just go three five A G again. Go right to the eight ten. If you slide it, it's fine. Those are natural things. The longer you play as a guitar player, you end up um, you know grafting in, and we don't always realize we're doing it. So. And then we're going to go up to the 1113, I think. Yeah. This time you're going to stand it longer. Down, up, down, up, down, up um, chord. So. So, down, up, down, up, down, up. Or think down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, moving into the chord. It's open A, 2D, 2G. Bar those. Don't use two fingers. Um, you're going to hit that A through G, let them ring. Oops. 12A is going to be our lead in slide, leading into section 3A, which was this. Oops. That's the first line of it. And then, and then. Let's 
So I think I got that memorized. That's section 3A. So 7A, 9D. And when you slide off on there, just go like a step or a step and a half. You don't hear the end point of the slide. Once again, it's one of those feel things. Definitely part of the feel. Um, so when you, after that, it's not a long slide, like I said. Um, palm mute the open E, down, up, down, up, down. It's a five count. Once again, we're dealing with an odd number. So down, we really want to get that rhythm stuck in your head. Because you're going to do it twice. And then four of them. So down, up, down, up, into this power chord, 10, A, 12, D. So. so. Once you get there, it's got kind of a Metallica-ish feel. 10, 12, 9, 11, 8, 10. So let's try that. And then you're back to the 7, 9. Now I'm not positive what, what I think's happening is Oz might be going hitting this chord and Mike may be hitting this. I'm not 100%. It seems like there was a part in here. That's the beauty of two guitar players, man, because you don't always have to be playing the exact same thing. It kind of defeats the purpose, right? Uh, so Striper's amazing at that. Bands like Striper, Maiden, you know, Boston, you've got that really cool use of multiple guitars. Scorpions, um, <clears throat> as far as newer bands, Avenged Sevenfold does it too. Um, so anyways, we get through that first one and then you're right back to the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so after that, you don't slide the, the seven, nine on that one though. But you will go one two three four five one two three four five one two three four one two three. It's a seven count into this uh, five seven power chord on the A and D. You can catch that with an up. Or, or if you want, you can do a double down on the end to catch it. Experiment with it. Okay, the next thing that comes in. It's going to be two times, the second time no star. So on the second time you got this uh, Maiden style riff where it goes and it's going to cut out three of those seven open strings on the low E and the five seven power chord. In other words, um, this would be the second time watch. So we'll go. Do all that again. I don't know. What's the main thing that kind of had that vibe? It was like. I forget. It's a maiden dude, but check it out. So. Um, another thing, one last point in these rhythms, when you have an opportunity, Jason, to, if you're chunking away on like an open string, and we know we got a power chord coming up on the 10th fret, utilize that time rather than keep your hand sitting here. Da, 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 da. If we know we're moving up here, you can get it ready, so boom, you can go right into the chord. Okay, that, um, this part, that's section 3B that comes in at one minute, okay? Then we got section 4A. I did that kind of throughout this lesson for you because some of these parts are similar, but Striper did a lot of parts in here. I love it, man. I mean, I'm so excited to hear this album. Um, a lot of thought went into it, you know, and all the parts for every musician. And it just takes you, this song just takes you on a journey. So you're going to see stuff like section 4A, section 4B, section 4C. It's because they're all, per se, maybe a verse where they alter little pieces within it. And I wanted to represent it to the best of my ability the way Striper is doing this. All right, so section, we are on section 4A, the bottom of page two, 101 to 106. Um, and that's 
So it's, uh, you know, the beginning of a new part, but you're going to see what I mean when we get into B and C. Uh, so, we have this play on two chords between the 10, 12, and the 5, 7 um, on the A and D string. Open E to A to start, but we're back to the 5 count for the glue of this part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we got a 7 count again. Up to the 10, 12, A, D. No rest until after that. So no sleeping, dude. Consistencies are fives. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, which is a seven. My mind counts things weird. You got a five, a five, a seven on your palm muted opens, then a power chord with the rest, another power chord. Right back to it. A five, a five, a seven again with a different power chord. You follow me on that? You feel me? All right. Section 4B comes in. This is 107 to 113 in the song. And once again, you know, memorize these beats. You can subgroup them smaller than what I have. Um, but you're going to see lots of odd numbers. And it definitely makes things a little bit tricky, a little more uh, involved. So we've got... Some similarities, right? And then... Oops. So, let me play all of that part for you. Oops. Excuse me. That's one of the parts where one may be hitting here, and one may just be going over to the open. So let, let me do that again. We have... That's section 4B. Open E once, no palm mute, and then we got two groups of our five counts. Right? So one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, chord, chord, chord. So a one, four, or a one, five, five, four. That's our open count on section 4B. Here it is once again. Then we got 10, 12, 9, 11, and 8, 10 on the AD. And then we have a 1 count, a 5 count, a 5 count, and a f um, 4 count, which would be... So, the trail off riff on the end. 2, 3, 5 on the A, alternate picked, so down, up, down, and palm muted, and then 2A, down, pinch harmonic, vibrato. Oops. I hate it when I miss a pinch remark. There it is. All right, now we got some repeats. Section 3A, two times, second time, no star. Section 3B, one time. And then we got section 4C. I think it can fit this in this video. Back to our beat counts. One, five, five, seven, with a 10, 12 power chord up here. That would be this. The initial one, don't palm mute it. Then we move into the seven, nine. Now we're back to the beats. A five count. And a four count. So we have... Oops. And then 7A, 9D, you'll kind of hear this little build up leading into the chorus, which will be... Alright, so... And uh, the uh, section 5, which is 134 to 146, it's an A minor, open A, 2D, G, 1B, open E, it'll be... Yes, 
So from the A minor, two, three, four, five, six. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Six opens. And to G major, three E, muted A, open, open, three, three. That's how a lot of rock metal players play their G. Three, four, five, six, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up. Into three, five, five on the A, D, and G, but bar everything underneath. Do the A through G, and then D through E. All right, and then five, seven, seven, six, five. Um, go up, down. It's quick. And that's a fifth string for the root. And then A through G twice. And then this chord, I missed it when I was playing it. Um, five, six, four, five, which would be. I listened close, I thought it was, but it wasn't. Five, six, four, five. The beauty of Striper, let me tell you. They know what they're doing, they're thinking about every note and every chord. Love it. All right, that's it for part one.